Hey guys, so it's the end of financial year and you need to start sending your group certificates to your uh, employees now. So a lot of your employees are asking, can you finalize a single touch payroll? Um, and that, what that means is basically you working out what the final group gross wages are, taxes, superannuation, and then reporting that to the government so your employees can lodge their tax return. So I've got this client here and I just wanna quickly show you how to do that. The first step though is to double check that you've done your payroll up to date. It has to be past 30 June, so make sure that's done. So as you can see, this client's the last payment was made on the 19th of July for their pay, pay runs. So that's been done up to date now. So they can technically do their single touch payroll lodgements. And another check is also checking your reports. So going into reports and just double checking that the pay looks right. So you can go to reports, accounting. You may have this function, you may not. Uh, if you don't, just ignore it. Just go through it straight to the single touch payroll or finalization step. But go to accounting reports and go into uh, payroll employee summary. And then you can just check the whole summary for the whole year and just see if it makes sense. I'm not going to click on it because there's a lot of data here that is uh, confidential. So, but if you click on last financial year, click on update, you'll see for the financial year order pay for every employee, even the ones that are terminated or even the ones that have left. And just double check it. It is reconciled and it's correct. Um, you can just run your eye on it. Okay, say that you've done that. Say that you've connected single touch payroll. Uh, in order for you to know that, uh, you'll normally be able to file these and you filed it up to date already. So this client here has been filing and we know that there's errors here. However, uh, it has been, if you go back to payroll, let me just, uh, pay employees, I just wanna double check this. Looks like it's all been filed up to date, so that's all good. Um, these errors that were showing before um, have been reverted and fixed anyway, so that's been filed up to date. So you can see it's filed up to date. So there's 23, um, 23rd of April, but if you go in here and check 23rd of April, it's been filed, so it's all good. All right, cool. So next step is then go prepare your uh, payroll, which is this button here. Um, and go through the steps. Just review everything, review the organization details, check if it's correct, review employees, check if it's correct, uh, check your pay items, double check all that. Once you've double checked all these and these are all correct, um, these provide, they provide notes to you, but you just need to follow through the prompts. It's actually quite simple. Um, for example, I'll click on one of these just to show you guys. Review organization details, it would ask for the ABN, tax file number, um, address and all that stuff like that. So you just need to fill that out if you need to. All right, going back to single task payroll. Next step then is go to finalization, this button here. And then all you need to do is just check the employees, click on the whole tab, and then start finalization. Uh, they're gonna ask you about fringe benefits, um, reportable fringe benefits um, income. So this is something that most corporate businesses, large businesses will have where you're paying a private benefit on behalf of the employee. For example, you're giving them a car that's partly for personal use or you're giving them gifts or um, benefits that are personal on a monthly basis or weekly basis. You gotta have to add that up and put it into the pay as you go summary or group certificate or you know the wages. But in this case here, most of the time, probably 99% of the time, it's always zero for small businesses. So you click on next and all you need to do is click on um, you know, authorization to file and then you know you authorize and you've read the, the details and press submit. That's it. Now it's submitted to the tax office. Now uh, basically what's happened is that all the pay has been finalized and your employee can log on to online and find out that their pay slips or their, uh, the total pay for the year has been finalized in single touch. So they can go and do their tax return now. And that's it. That's how simple it is. You press that button, you can save this if you want, you go back to finalization if needed, but this will show as pending, and then give it a couple hours, it'll show as uh, filed, and it will be green. Yeah, and that's how you start your finalization and getting your finalization done. It takes a couple of seconds, um, but I just want to sit down and explain that to you guys. Thank you.